Northwest Hiker. I'm moving to a new spot. I found a nice big flat area viewpoint spot looking out to the west and all other directions with a good shot at Tonopah and the cell towers. So that's a good cell there and better spot for my radio, ham radio. So I'm moving about about a half a mile up the valley. Okay, this is my spot. I'll get up top here and see if I can... Let's see. I'm not sure. i got to probably get turned around. I don't know which direction I want to look. Let's see. I'm going to get out and take a look around. Boondocking spot, Hanapaw, Nevada. Old silver mining area from back in the early 1900s. All the white splotches you see, like over there, and those are mining tailings. And there's a old test hole right over there. And you can see mines all over. There's a mine right back there. That's a small one. A couple test holes. There's a mine right up there on the hill. That one's a little bit deeper. Not deep enough to cover. The real deep ones, they've got governments come in and put big covered grates over them. Keep people from falling in and dying. I don't think there's too many people around. I haven't seen anybody. Been here about a week. Nice and quiet. Got music going, so I'm gonna walk away from that or I'll get dinged. Gonna have a last campfire tonight and hit the road tomorrow. I think I'll jump on the bike and ride down and check out that tower down there. I camped there one night and I didn't get any video. It was all cloudy and drove up and pulled up to this spot. truck and getting packed up. Got most of my antennas down. Here in Expo, ready to roll. There's my wood pile over there. It's looking out towards Tonopa, around the corner there. Got a semi-decent cell signal. My hotspot. Still on that third-party network, so my phone is next to useless. Side, I think this just has the most busted up building garbage and stuff left. Burn barrel, not a lot left. There was a big building right in this area. get my metal detector and poke around down here. And that's all roped off. And there was a shaft there at one time it's filled in. This fence was constructed for your protection. That's the mine. I think that was the main mine shaft. I think this was the biggest mine in the area. Yeah, it goes way down. I don't know how deep that is, but it goes way down. You got a big pipe to 
suck everything out. The chute's out here. Somebody's taking some of the pipe. Those are the big, big tower. That's some big timbers there. There's a big tank. You know, it was a water tank at one time. I haven't found any evidence of any springs or anything around this area. So. It's an old building right there. It's all collapsed and fallen down. That's where they pumped out all the tailings concentration and I don't know I think they must have had a concentrator and ground everything up and hauled the ore out somewhere. There's another building down there. I'll take a walk. There's some vehicle parts. Let's see what I can find over in this mess. Lots of junk all over the ground. Sorry for the bad lighting. Looks like uh, part of a tractor or something. There's a, I don't know what that is, maybe a bed frame. Under there, yeah, it's part of a barrel. That's old junk on the ground. Be careful. Step on something rusty and nasty. Okay, there's a vehicle. Kind of cool to I think this is all most of this junk is over a hundred years old. There's a I don't know what that is. Maybe you know, car bus can give us a clue. Some type of vehicle. Old one. It's got a wooden wooden running board. Yeah, something from back in the 1800 or late, late early 1900s, about a maybe 1915, 1920. Oh, looks like a Ford. Ugly like a Ford. I don't see anything on the. There's a. I don't know if that's a hood or the trunk. That must be the trunk. I don't see anything. I don't see anything written on anything. It's all rusted out. Somebody's been in here. Maybe thief in parts. Not much left. Model T? I don't know. Uh, here's that other building. Yeah, it's seen better days. It'll spit and shine and be good as new. Nice old critter spot to sleep under there. There's a looks like a big pack rat nest under the back corner. So something's living in there. See little poops all over the ground.
I'm not sure how much snow they get in this area in the winter time. I don't think tons of snow, but I might get a foot or two. About 6,400 feet, I think. 63 right here. Camped at about 65. Here's a kind of root cellar or something. Underground something. What's in there? Oh, maybe that was a outhouse? I don't know. Looks like it might have been an outhouse. I don't see any kind of toilet now. Looks like maybe some kind of little root cellar or something. It's all kind of caved in. I camped right over there the first night. It's the pull-in spot. There's another flatter area up around the corner. Not a lot of flat area. And up that side road, if you had four-wheel drive, you could go up that way. I'm going to take a walk up this side road. I'm curious to see where that goes. I can see mines over there. That's a claim marker right there. There's a sheet of paper in there. They were in here May of this year reclaiming this mining area, this mine. I don't know what this mine's called. And some of these interested in mostly silver. I think they got gold out of here too. I think this was the most productive site from the looks of what was being built here. Went on. Yeah, I don't know if I want to walk way back in there or not. Let me go jump on my bike. Oh, one last look. It's a cool spot. If you like old, old stuff. Imagine what the history was. All the junk on the ground. Road in here is not too bad. This is actually listed on. Freecampsites.net. I think it's uh, McKinney McKinney Summit. I'm about 15 miles east of Tonopah. If you're ever interested in checking this area out, you can get any type of rig in here other than maybe a big honking motorhome. Small class C or Class B, it's fine. Truck camper. Those aren't, aren't too bad. There's the main road right there. I'll go back out that way tomorrow, and if there's any problem, I'll report on that. Otherwise, it should be a good road. It's a Forest Service road, so I think if it's all tore up and nasty, uh, I can come back here and go back out the way I came in. That was a little bumpier and rougher, but not, not too bad. There's the tailing pilings from that mine. I'm back about a half a mile up the valley from the main town site. There's a test well. A few looking back down the valley. The road gets a little bit rough. Looks like it kind of washed out. The main part over there, so there's a little bypass road that goes around. There goes my son. There's another mine right there. All right, back to camp spot. Get the fire going. Sun's going down. Maybe I'll get one last nice killer sunset. My view looking west. Actually, northwest. Alright, and I'm gonna go fire up the campfire. Oh, my last campfire. I'm gonna get out of the music area. My 60 LED motion sensor light. That thing works.
pump's awesome. I've had it turned off for a couple days. It's not getting a full charge, so tilted the panel and fires right up. Lights everything up. That's the Harbor Freight one. Uh, it sells for about 30 bucks on sale. All right, this is uh, the last campfire, burning up my last bit of firewood. All right, I'm gonna get dinged if I don't turn this off and the music going.